Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Senappa. So in this video, we will see what is auto manual selection. Okay, so how we can do the wiring for this auto manual selection. Okay, so this was requested uh, by one of our subscriber, Mr. Taufik, one of our friend also. Okay, so we will see in this video. So in many control panels, we used to see uh, like a different type of operation. You can see any starter like a device starter, 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 VMD starter, whatever starter on the door. For operation, uh, we can see uh, like <clears throat> on up switch or start stop select uh, start stop push button. Apart from that, there must be a or there will be a selector switch. Okay, manual off auto. Okay, so what is that? Uh, how we can do the wiring for this? We will see. Okay, so. Basically, for normal application, uh, if you want to start any equipment like motor, pump, fan, or whatever something, uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, simply uh, uh, <coughs> pressing the uh, start stop push button or putting uh, the selector switch on up status, you can operate the pumps. Okay, but still, <coughs> in uh, big industry and in, uh, any process plant uh, for any. Uh, um, water treatment plant okay if you go uh, and you can see the motors or any equipment that will be operated by uh, two way like manual operation and auto operation okay apart from that there is one more selector uh, local remote then manual op uh, manual auto okay so we will see uh, like what is this how we can uh, what is the purpose of this selector switch and what how we can do this uh, control wiring okay Okay, now we will see how we can uh, operate a DYL starter for a pump uh, like normal starting with a manual uh, auto manual selector again uh, local remote auto manual selection. Okay, so we will see. So we know we everyone knows how the DYL starter is working. Okay, so commonly uh, the three phase supply will be uh, operated through a circuit breaker then it will be connected through a contactor and the overload relay then it will feed to the motor okay so the main concern or concept is we have to energize the contactor uh, to feed the power to the motor okay so once <coughs> we uh, when uh, when you do the normal operation through on off switch okay once you press the on uh, on off push button sorry selector switch uh, this will close the circuit. The supply will directly go to the KM1 contactor coil. The contactor will close. Uh, the supply will go through the overload relay. Okay. Once the overload relay get uh, like um, observe any overload or short circuit something, so this will open. The contactor will release. The power supply will be open. The motor will be the pump or whatever the equipment will be stopped. Okay. This is the. Uh, basic operation of this DY starter or whatever. If it is star delta starter, if it is DY uh, soft starter, if it is um, like uh, VMD starter, the basic concept is same. Okay, the, we have to energize the contactor to close the power supply. Okay, so this is manual operation. Okay, if your pump is application, if your pump is uh, like a uh, working with any uh, PLC or SCADA system or BMS system. Or with any float switch or with the timer or any pressure switch okay so that will be selected in the auto mode okay so that case what we will do or what normally uh, uh, the people will do like they will put a selector okay selector switch uh, like manual of auto okay so that case once you uh, put your selector switch in the manual mode then the pump or the equipment or whatever the uh, your motor operating the equipment will start it directly that is called manual okay manual or local okay then there is a one more selector off okay if you put your selector switch off then nothing will happen because the system is in opposition but when you select the selector switch in auto mode then the operation will be controlled uh, the equipment operation will be controlled by the um, instrument like uh, flow switch or pressure switch or PLC or SCADA even the again one more switch which is uh, controlling from the remote area or from different place okay now we will see how we can make the wiring for that okay 
so here you can see the uh, same same wiring we can put uh, we, we will add one more uh, selector switch okay now we will add one selector okay manual of auto three position once the switch is selected a manual position the power supply will feed directly okay once it is selected in auto position then the priority will given to the external command okay so this is auto side okay you can see the selector selector switches okay this is three position selector switch instead of on off switch we are given three position selector okay you can see the control wire is connected in two different way okay once you put selector in auto mode manual mode this circuit will close and supply will go to directly to the contactor coil once this contactor energizes contactor will close and it will feed the power once the switch is selected in auto position the this contact will close and the priority will given to across this terminal or any equipment you have, uh, what you connected in auto side okay now in this case this uh, terminal is connected with plc okay example okay now the selector is uh, selected in auto side now whenever the plc is closing this contact the supply will close and the contact will energize the supply uh, then means the power will close and it will feed it to the motor okay now instead of this uh, plc you can give pressure switches also pressure switch whenever the pressure switch close and open this will uh, the <coughs> pump will get automatically start stop through the pressure switch okay okay you <coughs> instead of pressure switch you can give timer also if you connected the timer 24 hour timer t1 so here you can connect the t1 no contact okay once your selector is selected in auto position as per your time setting okay 24 hour timer example you set your timer timing morning 6 to evening 5 so once your selected selector switch is selected in auto position once the time uh, time reaches 6 o'clock this will close and it will start your pump or uh, whatever equipment then that will feed, uh, keep on working till the timer open time okay so this is auto of manual selector switch okay so as i told there is one more selection local remote again auto manual okay now uh, like i have one pump in one process plant okay the control panel is uh, installed near the equipment but i am sitting in the control room near the control desk so i want to operate the pump local remote in scanner okay so for that case we will see how we can make the wire now my pump is uh, my control panel is installed near the pump okay so i cannot go and operate every time uh, to the area okay that case what i will do i will uh, do it i will make a selection same like auto manual selection only i will put local of remote okay so once you select the local the uh, you can operate the equipment directly okay so once you selected your selector switch remote again there will be one more selection like um, manual of auto so the manual connection it will go directly to the um, contactor but auto will go to plc or scada okay plc or c scada or bms 
again pressure switch or timer whatever <coughs> your auto instrument you are connected with your equipment it will work okay so the same thing we can operate do uh, with two different selection okay this this selector switch is installed on the on panel this selector switch is installed in the control desk or any remote operation question area okay so once you select uh, your selector switch local this will work directly if you select remote mode then again uh, there are two more selection from remote it is manual or through any auto equipment like vlc scada bms or pressure switch or timer or whatever equipment you are operating through okay so this is the uh, like um, control wiring for the auto manual selector switch or local remote selector selector switches okay this is the basic uh, wiring for the control panels you go anywhere uh, like uh, see any control panel this is the basic control wiring for operating the equipment with a local remote or auto manual okay so i hope you <coughs> understood whatever i explained okay if you really feel that after watching this video you gained some knowledge or you got some information please do subscribe and support me okay so i will see you in next video with a different subject till then bye from senapa